This is a very delicate procedure, okay? Careful. Careful. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so is the bunker... It's underneath the car. Are you kidding me? Why would you hire somebody to come over and work on your bunker and then park on top of the entrance? You deserve to have your car parked in your living room, sir. Okay, I got a job to do. I got money to earn. Mother-in-laws to dungeon. What's up, guys, and welcome back to House Flipper. So in between episodes, I took some time to complete a lot of the mundane jobs that kept popping up in my inbox. You know, the stuff that you guys have already seen before. I've done a lot of painting, I've done a lot of radiator mounting and cleaning, and now, because of that, we have some new strange jobs popping up. Like, inhabitable bunker, or just bunker. And it's like I said, there is some kind of apocalypse DLC for the game that I don't really know anything about, but I would imagine the people wearing the gas masks that I keep talking to and bunkers probably have something to do with it. Inhabitable bunker. Last week, my dear sweet wife decided that her mom will live with us. So I determined that a perfect place for our lovely mother will be a cold metal construction deep under the ground. To keep things short, I want to place her in the bunker. It's all for the sake of safety, of course. For mom to move in, minimal facilities are needed there. A bed, bathroom, and kitchen. And when I write minimal, I really mean minimal. Don't overdo it with comfort, because as I think, mom won't honor us with her presence for long. It would be nice if you added some apocalypse survival items in there because it would make it easier to convince my wife that it's all for safety reasons. Signed, son-in-law who is waiting for his lovely mom to move in. I can buy apocalypse survival items now? We here at Poop Shack Incorporated offer the finest mother-in-law dungeon, so that's not going to be an issue, but there will be an issue with the fact that they never tell me where to go. It's not a very big home, but I have no idea what a bunker even looks like. <laughs> I would imagine it's just a stairwell that leads down below the house. Because it's not a very big house, you don't have a lot of places to hide a bunker. Am I missing something? Destroy the cockroach nest, clean the dirt, mount devices, furnish rooms, remove trash. I went back and read the email again. It didn't mention anything about building the bunker and I didn't bring the tools to do so, but I'm not seeing any bunkers in this tiny matchbox of a house. I thought maybe there might be like a shed in the backyard or something like that, but there's nothing going on in here. Hopefully they didn't like hide it underneath furniture or something like that. <laughs> yeah, mom is gonna live underneath the bed. Don't worry about it. Nothing? I don't get it. This is a very delicate procedure, okay? Careful. Careful. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so is the bunker... It's underneath the car. Are you kidding me? Why would you hire somebody to come over and work on your bunker and then park on top of the entrance? <laughs> you deserve to have your car parked in your living room, sir. Okay, I got a job to do. I got money to earn. Mother-in-laws to dungeon. This is interesting. Fallout shelter. Ooh. Okay, mom's gonna have some pets. I can only pick up these boots. I can't put them on, so we're just gonna have to- Excuse me, guys, pardon me. Okay, so we got a little room here. This is probably gonna be the bathroom. And then we move on to... Where does this go? Are you- Are you kidding me? And you should probably mow your lawn as well so that I could actually see this. I looked around the entire backyard. Oh, come on. I've wasted like 10 minutes already. <laughs> now, garbage. Picking up all of the garbage. Let's get rid of all of this. It's hard to tell what's garbage and what's provisions. Those pickles don't look good. It is really difficult to pick up garbage when all you can hear down here is the pitter-patter of millions of little feet. Maybe I should deal with you guys now, okay? I know I said I would leave you for pets, but I'll give the bag to mother-in-law. Maybe she'll let you guys out for a little company? She'll hold on to you for a late night snack? I don't know. So since I wasted like 10 minutes looking for the bunker, I decided to go back to the office, restart my timer, came back, and I want to see if I get paid better depending on how fast I am. I don't know if it's just based on the amount of work that I do, or if my efficiency matters, and where are all of these cockroaches? 
I don't, oh, there's one. Okay, I, like there's just one or two left floating around. There it is, I was gonna say. Is it bad that I've seen more cockroaches in university dorms than I have an abandoned underground bunker? You're not garbage, you're not garbage, you're not garbage, you are garbage. Okay, so I think the supplies are perfectly good. It's the boxes that I need to throw out. I don't suppose the scoped assault rifle would be garbage. <laughs> nope. Why? Should I leave this down here for mother-in-law? I, I don't want her to kind of mount some kind of uprising against the surface dwellers. Why is that in this game? Everybody knows that a good bunker has a couple hundred bottles of pickles and eggs and pickled eggs, but they don't need chairs. Chairs are unnecessary. You don't need to sit down. You can't sit down for too long with all the brine in your stomach. <laughs> is that all the garbage? There we go. Okay, now clean the dirt, which should be easy because we still have the Wonder Mop 5000. This thing is seriously magical. It's completely changed my life. I don't even need to see the dirt. I just kind of look up and down and spin around the room and it'll get everything for me. I'm never going back to cleaning any other way, okay? I don't need to be specific. I just need to get the job done. Should be good? Right, no, clean dirt 90%. There's a little bit left over here somewhere, maybe, underneath all this garbage. Somewhere. That's the other thing. The minimap doesn't really help me, so if I clean something up like 99%, and there's a speck of dirt left, you can't find it. It makes this ability so much more useful. Where are you, dirt? There we go. We're good. Okay, now this room is clean. Oh, we need to clean the other rooms too. Ew, okay, this room is now clean. How about this one? This will be the bathroom. Yeah, it's got a place for a toilet, place for a shower, and a sink. Wow, they really didn't have anything down here. They were not prepared. So now that that's complete, we need to place objects. First object is turbine power generator. Uh, can I buy a turbine power generator? Yep, it's just that easy. <laughs> it's a little small, but it should get the job done. Sure, there you go. Next object, kitchen cabinet with sink. Ooh. Where would I hook up a sink other than the bathroom? Can I put a kitchen cabinet here? I think that's a wall-mounted sink, isn't it? When in doubt, look it up, because apparently they have everything here. Kitchen cabinet with sink. Okay, kitchen cabinet with sink. So we need to put this somewhere. Do you, oh, it does mount there. Maybe? Good. I can open. Um, I feel like I need to mount it though. Oh, it's not supposed to go in this room. Right, this is a different room. So it does need to go out here. I guess it just doesn't matter if it actually works or not. Kitchen cabinet with double doors. Yeah, she just needs a sink. She doesn't need water. People very rarely pay my decoration fee, and it's a huge mistake, because otherwise I will deliver the furniture as requested. You wanted a kitchen cabinet with double doors, I will buy a kitchen cabinet with double doors, but then it's just gonna show up looking like that. There you go. It's delivered. I've fulfilled my end of the job. Cabinet with hanging shelves, okay. Cabinet with hanging shelves, and that can go uh, there-ish. Looks good. Bunk bed. Is that like an actual bunk? Okay, no, it's a bunk, not a bed for a bunker. It's a bunk bed. Is mother-in-law expecting company? <laughs> That's a little weird. Okay, we can put that over the egg jar. Induction cooktop, okay. Induction cooktop, we can uh, just put that on the floor. She can stand on it like it's a scale for all I care. Simple table, okay, uh, that can go right there. Uh, two chairs in golf. Again, I don't really know what half of this stuff means, but chair in golf, all right. You know what, Ikea's always got it and we need two of them like that, okay. And that's everything, the room is furnished. I'm a magician. So I've decided that I might not show you guys everything that I do on every job because it does get repetitive, but at the same time, I do want to try to do it because I need to earn enough money to buy my own bunker or my own house someday, and it also helps me level up. 
Like, I just did the shower, the sink, the toilet, and now if I put together seven more devices, I'll get another level of handyman, and then I can plaster 30% faster, 50% more fitting, and all that kind of stuff. It's all important to level up, it's just a grind. Okay, this whole game is just a grind, but we're done! He paid us about 600,000 rubles for this job. You know, I, I really do feel like I earned it. Why is it every time I come home, my front door is open all of a sudden? Where is my bed? There was a bed here, wasn't there? Somebody stole my radiator, and then somebody stole my bed! Did they take anything else? No, all my fan art is still here. Uh, yeah, all my cigarette butts and bricks and newspapers. Why does this keep ha I can't afford- I can't afford a new bed. I don't want to afford a new bed, okay? I want to be able to buy a house. Can I buy a security system? No. Maybe an alarm? Whoa, wait a second. Uh, gun? Right. <laughs> so we can get an airsoft gun or an actual pistol. Can I get myself one of those- Scoped rifles, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's actually $3,000 cheaper than the handgun. How does that work? Hey, either way, we're gonna put that uh, right here over the bathroom. And if anybody comes in here and tries to steal something again, they're gonna taste my wrath. I don't know why I decided to get the long range scope for close quarters combat. That's like an eight time scope, and I'm gonna try to snipe somebody from three feet away. <laughs> Mistakes were made, okay, but we gotta get it done. Now, bunker, there's another one. Hello, we bought a house with a hidden post-war bunker. The previous owner didn't appreciate what he had and made it a storage room. We care about safety and the weather in this part of the country gives us some concern. Guys, once again, I don't need your life story. Just tell me what you wanna do, how much you're gonna pay me. That's all that matters. We have renovated the house, but as for the bunker, we want to have it done by a professional like those at Poop Shack Incorporated. Can we count on you equipping it appropriately? If a tornado or something even worse would hit, we want to have a safe place where we could stay for several weeks until it is safe again. I don't think I have any guns that would help against tornadoes, and what kind of tornado are you trying to escape for several weeks? Why is it always the tiny little bungalows that seem to have a bunker that's equal to or bigger than the rest of the house? I just don't understand what people are thinking. And where did they hide it? I shouldn't have to play hide and seek with my work, people. Oh, there it is. Okay. They actually put it in their house this time, so. Ooh, yeah. Didn't they say that he used this for storage? Storage of what, his alcoholism? See if I can crawl over all of this and spot what's going on out here. Okay, yep, more boxes and more liquor. More boxes and more liquor. And a toilet. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a different bunker and it's actually really difficult to move around. Maybe I should just be picking up some of this garbage on the way. There we go. Okay, so we have our job set out in front of us. I always just hope this is something weird, like I can hit a button and everything will lock down or there'll be somebody down here wearing a gas mask, but it looks like more painting and cleaning and trash removal. The clients also don't usually give me a detailed list of everything that they want to keep, so I have to guess. I'm going to assume that they're going to want to keep the pan full of bent screws. That seems important. Uh, microwave, yep, they're probably going to want to keep that, even though there's no outlet back there. Uh, they don't want the liquor bottles. There's still a little bit in these. What kind of Russians are you? Well, I'm not seeing any weapons down here for safety, just some haunted garbage, and they do have a sledgehammer and a hatchet. <laughs> Which, I guess, in a pinch, would get the job done, right? Somebody tries to storm your bunker at close quarters, it might be a whole lot more useful than a sniper rifle now that you think about it. There we go, garbage cleaned up in here, moving on. Oh, those are fancy little boxes, and furniture. I don't think I've ever thrown out furniture before. They have a... Uh, Bunch of tires? Like, what was this guy thinking? As you can imagine, the toilet wasn't in any kind of recoverable state, so that's been removed, as well as most other things. There's also another entrance, hey. Cool. So they all have an outdoor exit and an indoor exit. Is that a thing? Like, are these actually common somewhere in the world? Again, because I don't think this is North America. Nothing about this place feels very North American. Oh, we can put a shower over there. 
I think he wants me to do that, doesn't he? Shower, toilet, sink, three devices. Okay, first of all, let's clean tiling and paneling. What? Okay, hold on. Clean first, then figure out what that is. That's an entirely new thing. I don't understand why people would come down to a bunker with Taco Bell. Look, look at all the Taco Bell squirts. As much as I love my Wonder Mop, I don't think these walls are getting any cleaner, which makes me think that's probably what this is for, tiling and paneling. Oh, okay. A package of tiles would be useful. Oh yeah, lay wall tiles, ceramic tiles, gray squares. Uh, okay, ceramic tiles, gray squares. This one? I've never done tiling in this game before. Whoa. Okay, so we put on a little bit of plaster and then we stick it on the wall. So it's an alternate way to painting. There isn't enough paint in the world to recover these walls. <laughs> That's super interesting though. I'll need to remember that. I, I'm sure I can tile a lot of really strange things into people's houses. <laughs> My first inclination is how can I use this to screw with people? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm supposed to use these tiles to screw with people, not have them screw with me. So there are ceramic tiles, gray squares, and then there are ceramic wall tiles, gray. And because I have a bunch of these up and I'm still at 0%, I'm guessing this is what they want me to put on their walls? Is that correct? Why don't we try this and see if this makes you any happier? No? I'm just covering these walls with tiles until I get something right. <laughs> Ceramic tiles, gray squares. I should be able to just type that in. Ceramic tiles, gray squares. Oh, there's multiple different kinds. Why? What? Why? Ceramic tiles, gray squares. Ceramic tiles, gray squares. You didn't specify! For my first time tiling, I gotta say, I think I did a pretty good job. It's super ugly, but that's the tile's fault, not mine. This isn't much better either, but you want me to paint with the color white. I am gonna be dumbfounded if just slapping some white paint on these walls is enough to rescue them. There's, there's no way, right? If I just soak up a little white paint and give you a... Oh, oh yeah, it's, it looks like it's fresh drywall. No problem at all. Just gonna hide all of that mold. I like the last guy's outlook more. You know, bare minimum, it doesn't matter if the walls look like they're falling apart. Okay, we're not trying to make some kind of fallout shelter down here. This isn't gonna be Vault 69. This is gonna be a place where somebody goes to hopefully die, like a mother-in-law. There, everything is painted. Remove object, steel garage shelf. Oh. I didn't see that. Okay, so what, you want me to sell it? There we go, remove object, two garage shelves. Oh, all your crap just kind of falls down. <laughs> and then place objects. So what am I gonna do with all this? Just one of them on the floor? Can I, ooh, I can sell my empty paint can. Don't know who's buying those, don't matter to me. Then again, I do have a magic selling gun, so I shouldn't ask questions. Modern kitchen cabinet with sink Andy. I feel like I've made this joke already, but who's Andy? Modern... No? Modern kitchen cabinet with sink Andy. Okay, so it's probably like Ikea, right? How you don't buy a kitchen cabinet with sink. You buy a, a Hergen Flergen Carlson, and that's how they identify things. Place object four burner gas stove. Ooh, that's fancy. I don't even have that. Come to think of it, I don't have... Like, a lot of things. <laughs> this bunker is better than my house. <laughs> my walls look worse than these ones used to. A uh, gas cylinder. Gas cylinder? I can get a gas mask. Okay, we should probably leave a complimentary gas mask, right? Yeah, well, they're, they're kind of expensive, but I'm, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Can we not put them somewhere? Mm, well, they don't want them on their nice clean floors, so I guess you're out of luck. Fine, no complimentary objects. Modern hanging cabinet, Andy. Okay, hanging cabinet, Andy. It's always gotta be Andy, everything has to match. Again, they didn't pay the decoration fee, so it's going over there. Even if I wanted to decorate this place, they don't really give you a whole lot of space to do it. <laughs> like, they expect this sofa and this table, a gas cylinder, and all of this other stuff in this one tiny little room, and then they even want more. 
Hanging shelves. Okay. Hanging shelf up? Is that what it said? Like, uh, that? Sure. And then another hanging shelf up. So you want two ups and no downs. Whatever, man. Whatever you want. Okay, so that's done. I'm just gonna work my way over here. Anything in here that you want? First aid kit. I can really buy anything in here. First aid kit. All right. There you go. Water containers. Oh, man. You actually do want this stock to survive. Fancy. Can they go on the shelves? No. What's the point of a shelf? So the water containers don't fit, but the food containers do. So we have regular food containers, large food containers, which are in fact smaller than the regular food container. Why? I don't know. Uh, pickled cucumbers. What? <laughs> pickled cucumbers. Okay. Yep. Fresh pickled cucumbers. You want my nuts? Yeah, okay. I can fish out some. Oh, they were nuts. I did not realize that. I thought they were something else. You're going to love my nuts. Jar of soup. Why would you have a jar of soup and not a can of soup? Doesn't seem very good. Okay, uh, macaroni. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, I'm actually stocking all the food that I littered the place with last time. Come on, dude. I'm a house flipper, not a grocery store. And the last object is a safe. Okay. That just gonna go in the middle of the room. I'm having a hard time reaching the high shelves. I guess I'm like a five foot three. Russian man who works at Poop Shack Incorporated, so now you got all your peanut butter on the floor, but it should be perfectly fine. Now for this room, please tell me you don't want this one stocked. Remove object garage shelf. I can do that. Boop. Gone. Done. Place object bed with drawer. They need a bedroom, of course. Bed with drawer. This is a pretty nice bunker, I'm not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't mind living in here. You might even be able to fit a car down here if you try real hard. <laughs> bed with Drawer, didn't I just do that? You want two beds with drawers? Yep, okay. Hanging shelf up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all this stuff, guys. Or not. Everything fits. No problem at all. I feel like that's probably not the best way to lay out your shelf. <laughs> Maybe it should be tilted a little bit, but again, they didn't pay the tilting fee, so that's just the way that it's gonna be. And then in here, you wanted devices mounted. And you wanted me to remove these. Okay, we get rid of that. Uh, water heater. Where would a water heater go? What? Apparently that's a hot water heater? I've never seen anything like that before, but they want a whole lot of stuff down here. They expect to be living down here for years. I got drawers in their bathrooms, and now they want a place to poop, and a toilet paper holder. God, princes and queens they got living here. Uh, toilet paper holder. Okay, eh. There we go. I don't know if it's nighttime all of a sudden, or if it just got really, really dark in this room, but I had to turn on my flashlight. It turns out I do have a flashlight, and now I'm building a shower by flashlight, which is kind of unnerving, honestly. It feels like Freddy's gonna jump out of nowhere and touch my butt. Would you put it past him, honestly, in, in a random little bunker? This is the place that he would kind of hang out. Do your job, you stupid generator. God, what is wrong with you? I think everything is done. We're 100% complete again, and again, we get paid almost 600,000 rubles. I feel like that's the exact same amount the last bunker gave us, which is, well, weird, because we did way more work here. Well, my door is closed this time. That's a good sign. I don't know why there's a giant square jizz stain up against my window. That's kind of concerning. But, is everything else still here? I think we're good, right? Yeah, they must have taken a look through the window, seen the gun, scared themselves, and then not stolen anything. I'm amazed that they took the bed. Like, that thing was gross. It, it looked like it was sticky, lice riddled. Now, do we have any more bunker jobs? We have an aunt's home to redecorate, a house to refresh, a kindergarten, a sauna. Interesting. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of House Flipper, guys, because I feel like we did a pretty good job taking a look at the Apocalypse DLC, maybe? 
we looked at bunkers. I don't know if there's any more, but I'm sure we're gonna find more things. We have a kindergarten, which was completely different. We have a sauna, which I'll probably do next time as well, but I think I'm gonna get through some of these random ones, like cleaning up the house, extra bathroom. Again, the stuff that isn't really worth showing you guys, I'm gonna work through so that hopefully soon we can buy our own home and actually do some house flipping. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.